there's a lot of people in the Bitcoin media space that will never talk about this or what you just mentioned. And I think a lot of that is because a lot of money and effort has been put into specifically homogenizing uh, media discourse in the Bitcoin space because they want them, they want Bitcoiners as much as possible to be compliant while Larry Fink and his ilk do what they want with Bitcoin and make it what they want it to be so that people are content with number grow up and sort of the sailor-esque talking points that have gotten a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people have heard those versus what you just mentioned, from example, uh, you know, it, there needs to be a cultural shift in Bitcoin in the opposite direction of what this Diego guy from Rootstock said, where he's like, we need to drop the whole, you know, it, stop fiscal irresponsibility of the banks and central banks and, um, you know, be a challenge and threat to their power. We have to drop that if we want to get rich. I mean, that's the mentality there. And I feel like the sailor mentality really isn't that different from that. We have to push people in the other direction because if we go in the direction they're pushing those, you know, people to go in, you know, people that want to drop the ethos or whatever and make Bitcoin just a tool for Wall Street. Um, I mean, no, if, if we let that happen, very bad things happen. And there has to be a fight. And there's a specific effort that's been launched against people that hold Bitcoin to try and get them to be compliant in that sense. And, you know, and, and that's through you know, controlling the discourse in the media space. There needs to be a desire among, among Bitcoiners to return to the original ethos, uh, not the opposite. There needs to be a fight for that.